Uh, just to wrap things up on Manchester United while we're here, Kobe Umeinu has been handed his first England call-up, his first ever senior England call-up. Do you think this comes at a good time, Rob, for him? Obviously, with the Euros coming up in the summer, do you think that's what's getting looked at here? I think so. Um, I mean, I, to be honest, I expected Calvin Phillips to, to keep his place in that England squad. Once Calvin Phillips wasn't in it, I was very surprised that Kobe Mainu wasn't initially. Obviously, he's been... Um, called up today. I mean, there's a lot of Man United fans saying that Gareth Southgate suddenly you know, noticed Kobe Mainu because he was fantastic playing in that midfield against Liverpool. I, I don't think that is the case, really. Um, you know, you can make the argument that maybe it's a little bit too soon. He's only played um, 15 Premier League games. That obviously would be an awful lot more had he not been injured in pre-season. He had to wait a long time this season to get his opportunity. But I think Gareth Southgate has shown in the past that if, if you're good enough, you're old enough. And he, and he certainly did that with Jude Bellingham and, and that decision to, to, to fast-track him into the senior squad has paid dividends. Um, the, the other thing at play here is the fact that um, Kobe Mainu is, is eligible for Ghana and Ghana have made no secret of the fact that they would like to have him in one of their squads. Um, you know, Maybe that's influenced Gareth's decision to, to call him up for these games against Brazil and Belgium. You know, Whether he makes a Euro squad after that is, is another matter entirely. The, the, the squads for the major tournaments get reduced now from 26, which we saw in Qatar, to 23. So Gareth Southgate will only be taking 23 players to Germany. Um, you can argue that if Calvin Phillips hasn't recovered any kind of form and he doesn't go, that Kobe Mainu is the natural replacement in that position. Um, but again, that's that's a, a decision for um, for Gareth Southgate. He's not massively blessed with with a lot of players in, in that central midfield area. So you can understand why he wants to bring Kobe Mainu in, get him into St George's Park, have a proper look at him in training and maybe give him a senior debut against Brazil or, or Belgium. Yeah, well, we obviously wish him the best of luck. And before we do put a bow on this time, we want to talk about the Liverpool perspective with you, Janic. There are some saying that this is a blessing in disguise and the fact that it does mean potentially a couple less fixtures for Jurgen Klopp. What are your thoughts on that take? I think that's nonsense. You know, I mean, there's trophy to be won. You want to take it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, as they've mentioned, uh, the, the, the fixture pile up and all of that. But that, of course, doesn't mean... I mean, you can argue that was, you know... The, the, one of the most realistic trophies to to win. I mean, Europa League is not going to be easy. Of course, Europe is never easy. But but I I sort of suspect that if you ask Jurgen Klopp, you know, at the end of his career in in at Liverpool and in Premier League, as he states it, which trophy would he like to win more, the FA Cup or or uh, and perhaps in the final against Pep Guardiola, right? Or, or or Europa League? I think he chooses FA Cup. So I don't buy into it. I think he recognizes that this was a uh, very close. Uh, this is a game that ultimately. Uh, regardless of who you think the better team was, I mean they were in position to see this out and 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 get to the uh, you know probably get to the final. They would have been favorites to get to the final, wouldn't they? Uh, regardless of how the draw would have panned out for them. So uh, no, I, I don't buy into it. <laughs>